Hey, empaths. Welcome back. With the year coming to an end very fast, uh, we have some reflecting to do. And our angels and our guides and our teachers, the divine God creator, the source of everything is inviting us to really do a deep dive as we are ending 2023 and allow ourselves to find the balance, mind, body, spirit, energy, all of your parts. Um, there's an opportunity for us to be very multidimensional at this time and integrate all that we've learned over the last year and you know the past years, um, bringing it together in such a beautiful, pristine way that we find the balance, we integrate all of our learning, all of the wisdom, uh, past, present, and even what we can perceive as the future. We're being invited by the divine to bring it all together and to step back and to release the baggage of the past, which includes um, feeling rejected or abandoned or discouraged or um, frustrated by world events, we're being a, invited to step into a space of clarity and a divine knowingness, um, a divine groundedness. There's a lot of shaking up in our world. There's a lot of um, chaotic energy in the environment that you may live in, and you're being invited to just step back and to anchor, to meditate, and to pray, and to know that you are divinely supported through all of it. We are in a very interesting time in humanity's history, and we empaths have been called to duty. We've been um, activated, and we're using all of our gifts and our, you know, many of you, I'm sure you recognize your psychic abilities are just really super potent at this time. Your clairvoyance, your clairaudience, your clairsentience, all of the clairs, right, <laughs> are activated. And you're probably experiencing a lot of um, astral travel during, you know, your divine dream space, as I call it. Um, you're doing a lot of work. You're doing a lot of healing. But in the past, you were the one getting the healing. And now you are working with your spirit team, doing healings all over the planet and even across realities and timelines. So with everything that's going on, with all of these new activation codes, we're being invited to find the balance, to integrate the balance. So timelines at this time are shifting so quickly and there are quick releases happening um, and we're shedding density really, really, really fast. Like if you feel I don't know, embarrassed or ashamed or guilt or worry or frustrated or rejected or whatever the situation is, there's this very quick recalibration because you're stepping into the powerful, potent, energetic knowing that you are magnetic and that you and your soul and God, the creator source, um, assigned you for such a time as this you were born for such a time as this and you've been fully activated so when you recalibrate that quickly there nothing can latch on to you devil energy cannot latch on to you unless there's something in you to latch on to so for example if you are fully confident and feeling strong and aligned and knowing that you are divinely supported and that you are um a spiritual being having this human experience and that you came here to be loved and you came here to be light and you came here to transmute energy and you came here to help situations heal wherever you can like if you're embodying that energy and that frequency that comes from the soul and the god codes that are fully activated in you if you're living like that nothing can latch don't forget that a parasite always needs a host um an energy vampire needs a host, okay? If you've done the work and you are embodying a pure heart structure, 
if your channel is clear, if your dial is adjusted to the highest frequency, there's nothing that devil energy can latch onto, and therefore you release density quicker. So you're stronger now, dear empaths, because of all the work you've done, and now you release what doesn't resonate because in your ascension journey, you are now very clear what is right and what is not. You are super, super clear, super, super dialed in, and you are releasing what doesn't serve you very quickly. This is energetic balance. No longer um, staying in situations or uh, relationships or whatever it is longer than you need to because you're no longer confused and because you're an evolved empath you no longer stay where there isn't resonance because you realize you have work to do so it's not about judgment you know sometimes people cut cords and you know i'm leaving what doesn't serve me and it's coming kind of from a critical judgmental place it's not about that it's that you have sacred work to do on this planet and if it's not here then it's there or if it's not here or there let's get into the presence of the divine and figure out what your actual divine assignments are so that you can be about that life that business you know um the light illuminates your path at this time in such a beautiful way and you just follow the light like you're not distracted anymore you're not stuck in fear and rejection and confusion and you're not people pleasing anymore empath bravo bravo brava seriously you're not people pleasing you don't care the ego's not running the show in a negative way so you don't care what people think about you you're just about that spiritual life you're just about honoring god and the god codes it's kind of like being on a scavenger hunt at this point or a great adventure and you're being led imagine being like just take a breath and imagine just go with me with this guided imagery imagine being led on a on a scavenger hunt or you're on some great adventure but you're being led by a firefly <laughs> just one little itty bitty you know firefly it's just a little spot but you're just willing to follow that firefly and just a tiny little spark of light dear path can illuminate the whole path just one little tiny spark of light when you're dialed in and you find the balance when you know the voice of the divine when you have fellowship through meditation and prayer with your spirit team when you know the voice of god in your life and what that sounds like and your whole life is encapsulated in love and light and your whole path is shaped by divine um, light codes then finding the energetic balance is easier and staying on the path is easier and being led the right way is easier even if the only light you see is a little tiny firefly little tiny spark of light so the journey that we're on as we all know has twists and turns but the light will guide you so be encouraged some paths and some energies in the past captured your interest they were intriguing they were mesmerizing maybe enticing and maybe seductive and maybe even mesmerizing in some ways they may have been interesting or intriguing briefly but because you've done so much work you have this beautiful energy now it's very different than the past just think about it what doesn't align is no longer that interesting it's no longer sexy right it's no longer that intriguing it used to be there used to be all these things that could you know the bright shiny things we were so interested in that and now it's like if spirit isn't really in it if it's not divinely aligned if it's not truly um required for your spiritual path based on what god and the soul have established for you then it's just kind of like eh, it's kind of boring right not so interesting whatever is truly for you dear empath it's not going to fight you it's not going to resist you in fact you you will be irresistible to that which is absolutely for you so what is for you doesn't resist it doesn't fight you it doesn't hide from you what is for you won't run away from you it won't ghost you so just shine your light just shine and just know everything is fine just be you be your beautiful adorable wonderful lovely have done the work self 
and shine that beautiful light. When you allow yourself to shine, no matter what's going on around you, no matter what's happening in the relationships in your life, this too is energetic balance. So energies and opportunities that are aligned for you will, they'll actually get in your face. Do you know what I mean? You won't have to ever wonder at this point. You've done so much work and there's a lot of confusion in our collective still. There are people wondering, oh, well, is this person for me or is that person for me or is that opportunity for me? Let me tell you something. At this point, divine, beautiful light workers, star seeds and empaths, if something is for you, it will be in your face. Okay, if it is aligned, it will not hide for you from you. It will not run from you. It will make sure you are clear that it feels the magnetic pull because that's where we're at at this point. So you don't have to second guess. You don't have to question because what is for you wants you just as much as you desire it. It will get in your face. It will make it plain that it wants you. So remember this, what wants, what you want wants you at this point, if it is divinely aligned and resonating with the frequency of your soul, it will be clear. And what your soul truly wants for you will find you because those things truly want you back and they are aligned. Like a magnet, your soul matches, will always match and align with you. This is called energetic balance. So everything around your world, everything in your environment is balancing out all realities, all timelines, all of the dimensions that you weave yourself, your energy weaves in and out of, it's all balancing out. And when disturbing events occur or disturbing news is exposed, allow your focus to be only on gratitude for the truth being revealed. We're living in an interesting time. There are many moguls, there are many corporations, there's many um, you know, celebrities, different situations that maybe we've put our trust in or we at one point in, embraced or endorsed and it's all coming to light. The nefarious agendas, the devil energy, the darkness behind the scenes. It's all being exposed, it's coming to light. The truth is being revealed. And rather than finding ourselves in dismay, like the majority of the world tends to be so dismayed and frustrated and they can't believe that this happened or that they were poisoning our water or that they were poisoning our food or that they were, you know, hurting this group of people or whatever it is. Instead of being so dismayed by that, allow yourself to your beautiful impact to be enveloped by divine spiritual light and allow yourself to be enveloped by peace no matter what is exposed no matter what occurs no matter what we discover no matter what we find out because we're going to continue to hear more okay when nefarious agendas are reported it's because the light is shining so brightly a lot of the times when nefarious agendas are exposed people get dismayed and frustrated and they find themselves so upset with you know whatever it is the government or this particular you know person who we thought we could put our our faith in you know if we just continue to plug into the divine soul structure we'll always know you always know who to vote for you always know how to proceed how to communicate how to address community issues and community problems so when nefarious agendas are reported, it's because the light is shining so brightly that these situations can no longer remain in hiding. That's how much work you've done, dear beautiful empath, and our collective, our collective light is just so infused with divine power. And we're just being ourselves. We're just being authentic. We're not forcing anyone to do anything, but the beautiful light that is shining through us and the purity of that light collectively, you know, integrated together is forcing everything that is um, unhealthy or toxic or straight up demonic or not serving the highest good or hurting the collective. These things have to come out of hiding at this time. So consider all of the things that have changed since you became enlightened and awakened. Your light is balancing the scales. Just take a moment, just integrate, just take a look at your life. Think about the last several years, the last three years, the last five years, the last 10 years. Look at what's shifted, look at what's changed. 
Look at what's been exposed. Look at what you now know. Look at what you've now integrated. Look at now, look at what you've now understood about the way the world works, this this game called life, right? And the truth of who you are and how powerful and magnetic you are and how like a magician and an alchemist, you can shift situations like that because the light codes have been activated within your consciousness, within your energy field. Your light has balanced the scales how many situations, circumstances, and people have shifted in your life since you woke up. Just take a look at your own life. Transmutation of energy can be subtle or it can be drastic. Sometimes we don't even realize what's happening behind the scenes. And then one day we wake up or we, we just sort of like, it's like the eyes are open and you're like, whoa, it's like I'm in a whole different dimension. Life is completely shifted. So allow yourself to dial in and recognize that subtleties of change or the overt shifts of change are always happening and you dear beautiful empath as an agent of the light as an ambassador of god in co-partnership with god and creation you are very much a part of the enlightenment that's happening on the planet you are very much um an activator of healing that is happening on the planet. You are an agent of change. You are a force for good, a force for change. You are in co-partnership with God, creator, the source, with the divine, with your soul team. You are divinely supported by angels and teachers and guides and mentors that God and creator have assigned to support you in this earth life. So many of you earth angels, you empaths, you star seeds, you light workers, you are on the job and so much is changing on the planet because of you. So thank you on behalf of your soul structure and God and the divine. Thank you for hearing the call. Thank you for being in the light. Thank you for using your life force to honor God creator source, to honor humanity, to participate in the ascension um, journey and adventure in such a beautiful way empath think about the harder situations that had harsher energy in the past and notice the softer approaches that have replaced that old energy just take a look at your life look at some of the people that were edgier harder harsher abrasive notice how they've either been removed from your field or they're interacting with you in a totally different way at this time this is the energy balancing out Notice how energy has been redirected ever since you have been on the scene, ever since you've been present and conscious and awake and enlightened. Notice how things are shifting. Your presence on the scene changes everything in path. And even when it becomes a little um, wonky or chaotic and it feels like all hell is breaking loose, it's still because your pure light is like a flashlight shining a brightness on all of the dark agendas. And so the chaos oftentimes happens before the calm, right? There's often a, a calm before the storm, but then there's the storm and then there's this beautiful integration and redirection of energy and recalibration. So our planet, dear empath, is going through detoxification at the moment. We are detoxing from toxic paradigms. And every time something appears to be dark, it's because darkness is exposing itself so that the polarities come into balance. And so that we in the light can see clearly what is playing, um, right playing out right before us. Do you know what I'm saying? We have to bring balance and our light does bring the balance and sometimes it gets to be a little bit uncomfortable as that balance is occurring as the light is exposing the darkness we're not always going to enjoy what we hear and see and feel and know but what is happening is that the dark is mass making an appearance because it can no longer hide itself that's how brightly you are shining that's how brightly we are shining in our collective the darkness must reveal itself. It has no choice. Everything's coming into balance. Darkness must reveal itself. It has no choice. And part of your birthright empath is to know the difference between wrong and right, darkness and light. And part of your birthright is to have the free will to choose the path that resonates with you. 
in order to make a choice, you need to be able to see what you're looking at. You need to be able to see what you're dealing with. And this gives you the opportunity to make a fair and balanced choice, whatever, you still have free will, but you need to know exactly what you're dealing with. If these are, you know, if this choice looks amazing, but it's actually rotten eggs, you need to know that. So that if you still choose those rotten eggs, you did it of your free will, as opposed to being manipulated. So darkness must reveal itself as so many beings in the collective have done so much work which has raised the vibration in our collective which is causing the light to shine so brighter the inner world of each empath is purifying so beautiful the collective purity requires that our outer world match the inner world of our individual hearts and our individual heart space so the heart pace the pace of our heart and the collective heart space of our empath collective is causing energetic balance so hidden agendas must come to the surface nothing toxic or infected or compromised or hijacked can remain in our experience without our consent. Now you of your own free will can choose to remain in darker agendas and darker situations, you have free will. But these things can no longer avail and just, you know, create havoc in our lives and run around chaotic um, and run around amok in our experience without our consent. We've up-leveled empaths, we get to choose. We get to decide. We can transmute the energy, we can recalibrate the energy, or we can say, I'm out, because this is not what I signed up for. This does not align. This does not resonate with my soul plan and my soul structure and what God, the divine creator source, has for me. So the hidden agendas must come to the surface. And in this space, they must reveal themselves and if the energies refuse to reset, then they will be dissolved in the light. That's it, period. If these energies choose to remain in our presence at this point, we've done so much work and our light is shining so brightly and we are emanating a frequency that resonates with the God codes, the healing codes, the light codes, the angel codes, the source codes of creation. We're not playing anymore, empaths. We are here to recalibrate energy. We are here to be a beacon of light and to show humanity that they have options. They do not have to stay stuck. They do not have to stay darkness in darkness. And as long as we are doing the work and we remain pure, darkness, devil energy, demonic energy doesn't have a space to latch as long as you stay pure, as long as you stay in the purity of heart, as long as you align with your divine soul team on a regular basis as long as you recalibrate dissolve the cords release what tethers release release what ties across dimensions across realities across timelines as long as you allow yourself past reoccurring and present lifetimes to align with the highest essence of your divine soul structure then balance occurs so the beautiful experience that we're having right now is observing darkness scattering and running and revealing itself it either must recalibrate with the great reveal <laughs> or reconstruct or reset or it will be dissolved in the light this is energetic repentance energetic rebirth energetic reset as the energies the nefarious energies the lower vibe energies reveal themselves and expose themselves they have an opportunity to ascend into the light if they choose not to they will be dissolved in the light so everything balances out dear ones look for the balance in your life look for the balance in your community look for the balance in your world expect balance find the balance speak forth the balance require the balance and trust that the higher ups are bringing balance they're bringing balance above 
and we bring balance down here on the earth plane as we hold the highest vibrational set point that is possible according to our individual and collective soul structures. As above, so below. As within, so without. And you hold the vibrational set point of the divine by holding the frequency of your own soul structure and your master blueprint. And as each one of us does that in Path Light Worker Star Seed, we weave the golden thread through the chakra system of the earth, through the chakra system of each and every Empath Light Worker Star Seed, Earth Angel, all of the healers. We weave the golden web. We shine our collective light. And what I'm seeing right now, I'm seeing this beautiful, 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 high vibe, high frequency light. It's spinning, 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 spinning. And I'm hearing the words and I'm seeing the words, boom. <laughs> boom and seeing the boom the spiritual boom of divine light like imagine you know how we have fireworks those of us who celebrate the fourth of july or whatever you know any occasion that has fireworks you know how it lights up the sky when there's a lot of them imagine the entire galaxy lit up because of the divine light of our empath collective the purity of that light, the brightness of that light creates a boom. Mm. Wow. As my printer goes off for no reason. <laughs> Confirmation. So dear ones, you are holding a beautiful frequency of your soul and your spiritual master blueprint. And all of us holding this frequency together, this beautiful, unique high frequency is creating and restoring balance across this entire planet. These are the messages that my spirit team wanted us to, sh to know, to integrate, wanted me to share and for us to integrate because as 2023 comes to a close and as we prepare to move into a new year, it's super important that all of us remember how magnetic we are. Remember how magnetic you are. Remember how powerful you are. Remember how much work you've done. Remember how many light codes got activated in your being in 2023 so that when we walk into 2024, we walk in with our heads held high, purity of spirit, divine alignment with your soul structure, knowing we ain't got time to play. <laughs> We, we came here to do stuff and we've been activated and we are doing all of those beautiful, beautiful mission assignments with so much love, so much light, so much clarity, so much divine support. So blessings to you, dear ones, as we're preparing to um, end the year. Happy holidays to those of you that celebrate the holidays. I'm sending you so much love and so much light. Carry on, you beautiful, divine special, special, lovely, lovely, magnetic empath. Love and light.